Welcome back to AgroJS. Today's question is leak code 105, construct binary tree from pre-order and in-order traversal. So given two integer arrays, pre-order and in-order, where pre-order is the pre-order traversal of the binary tree and in-order is the in-order traversal of the tree, construct and return the binary tree. So we have pre-order, we have in-order, and we need to construct this tree using just those arrays. So let's dive into the walkthrough. Okay, so this is a really fun question. We need to construct this binary tree here using the pre-order traversal, which is root left right, and the in-order traversal, which is left root right. So what do we do? Well, we have the root here, which we know is three. Where can you see within pre-order or in-order, how can we get the root of this? Well, we know pre-order is root left right. So the value at this index, the first index within the pre-order list is going to be equal to the root. Great, so we can start constructing it. Now we need to know the left and right subtrees. Well, if we look in pre-order, we can't exactly find out what's in the left subtree and what's in the right subtree using this pre-order list. However, if we look in the in order, we've just gotten the root from pre, right? So if we work out the index of the root from pre-order, then as you can see, everything to the left of three is in the left subtree and everything to the right of three is in the right subtree. So by using that information, we can use recursion in order to build out this tree. The only other thing that we need in order to build this tree out is the length from the in order list at position zero all the way up to the root value. Once we have that, we can construct the recursive calls for the left tree and the right tree and build it out. Now, the best way to show you this is to jump into the code. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to have a function called recurse. Right, and inside this, we are going to need four parameters. We're going to need the start of the pre-order, so we call it p start. We're going to need p end, which is going to be the end of the pre-order. And we're also going to need the same for in order. And when we call this, we need to return it. So it's going to be recurse. Passing in zero for p start, pre-order dot length minus one for the end of the pre-order zero for in start and in order dot length minus one for the end of the in order array. So all very straightforward to begin with. Now with inside the recursive call, we need a base case, which is gonna hop us out of this. So at any point, if the starting value of pre-order or the starting value of in order is greater than p end or is greater than in end, we can return null right, because we've reached the end of either the left subtree or the right subtree. So if p start is greater than p end, or in start is greater than in end, we can return null. So that's our base case. Now we need to build out the tree. So like we said in the walkthrough, we can get the root value, right. And this is going to be pre order, passing in p start. So initially we've got the pre-order at index of zero, which is p start. This will give us the root value of three. Now we need to work out the position of that within the in order array. So let's call it in index. This will be in order index of root value. And remember, like we said in the walkthrough, we need to determine the number of nodes to the left of the root value within the in order array. So n left is going to be in index minus in start. Now we can create the root. So root is going to equal a new tree node and we're going to pass in the root value. Then we can build out the left and right subtree. So it's going to be a recurse. Root.right is also going to be a recursive call. And at the end, we are going to be returning the root. So this is the tricky part, right? In the left subtree, we have nine and within pre-order, we know that nine is at position one within the pre-order array. So we are going to pass in to this recurse for p start, p start plus one. For the end of the pre-order, we are going to pass in p start plus n left, right? Because we can use the numbers to the left of the root value within in order to work out where the end of pre-order is going to be with relation to the left subtree. So it's going to be p start plus n left. 
then within the left subtree for in order, the starting position is still going to be in start, right? Because in order is nine to begin with, and it's going to be in end minus one for in end. And that's because we are subtracting a value, we're subtracting the root from this. And then for the right subtree, we're going from three to 20. So in pre-order, how do we get to 20? Well, if we do pre-start plus one, we get nine. And then if we add n left, we get 20. So we do p start plus one plus n left. For the end, well, we're going up to the end of pre-order. So it's just gonna be p end. Then for the parameters that we're gonna be passing in in regards to the in order array, it's going to be the index, right? So this value here, the index of this plus n left. So we're gonna move here. So in index plus one. And likewise for the in order array, we're going to be going up to the end of that array. So it's going to be in end. And that looks good. When this runs, it's gonna return this root and we're going to return it here. So let's give this a run. Submit it. And there you go. 